surrounding dental sealants. More kids seem to be getting them to ward off cavities, but some experts say they could be dangerous. That's because of a chemical found in them, and others say they have a high failure rate. Well, I went to a pediatric dentist in the Portland area to get the scoop. Oh, I love it that you came to see us today so we could paint your teeth and get them all nice and protected. Six-year-old Adeline already has eight adult teeth, and her mom says cavities have been a problem on at least one side of the family. Perfect, and we're all done with one tooth. You're doing awesome. So Portland dentist Michelle Stafford recommended sealants. We kind of knew that we would need them for her. Um, I actually had them when I was little, and I think her teeth are similar. And so um, this last appointment she had, she they recommended that she get them on her teeth. They're not without controversy. Some dentists worry the sealants can trap plaque on the tooth, creating an environment that causes future decay. But Dr. Stafford says they are effective and something has to be done because cavities are on the rise in young kids. Unfortunately, we're seeing a trend. I've been a practicing dentist for 10 years, and we're seeing more and more cavities in younger children. And I do believe it's because of the diet choices that we make in our society. There's other concern about the sealants exposing children to BPA, a chemical that's been banned in many baby products. But the American Dental Association says the benefits outweigh the risks. Here comes the last one. The sealant is sort of like white nail polish they put on the back molars, sealing off the chance of cavities up to 80% immediately. All right, and here comes our special light. The painless procedure involves an ultraviolet light and is usually done on kids between five and seven years old. So even with good brushing, sometimes those crevices are so deep that you can't get the bristles to the base of them. So we actually take those crevices, clean them out really well, and then cover them with the sealant. Perfect. They can last for years, maybe even a lifetime, if kids stay away from sticky candy and treats and consistently brush. She's really good. She does it twice a day, probably not for the two minutes. <laughs> In Adeline's case, it took about 20 minutes tops, giving her an extra tool to ward off cavities. That sounds like a good choice. <laughs> wow, no cavities. Can I get it? Can well, adults get okay, it? Okay, so that's the thing, because I asked the same thing. Right. Once you've had a cavity in a tooth, you cannot get a sealant because okay. then you are, you know, potentially trapping in something. Oh, so, that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, again, a really good tool. You know, most pediatric dentists will tell you it is good if your children have not had cavities back there. Mm -hmm. My four-year-old already has had a cavity, so she could use those. Um, the cost for those sealants, by the way, about thirty to forty bucks per tooth. Usually, it is covered by dental insurance mm. policies. Okay, good mm -hmm. to know.